it's Sarah Whitmire here again with our weekly wanderings with Sarah and Aaron, and I have a special guest this week. Uh, we are at the Spanko Drive parking area, which is a S1 on the map. This is our most southern parking area and entrance, and this gives you direct access to the Swamp Rabbit Trail, which is a paved trail system at this point. And we're here with our conservation manager, Taylor Phillips, to, um, we're gonna focus on the rusty blackboard today. And uh, she's gonna tell us more about them. Yeah, so rusty blackbirds are not always the most flashy uh, bird species, but they're important to us because over the last half century, their population has decreased 85 to 99%. And we have one of the largest overwintering populations of rusty blackbirds here at Lake Constantine Nature Preserve. And so because of that, Audubon has declared us an important bird area of global significance. So let's go see if we can find any today. Well, we found some rusty blackbirds. They're, it's hard to tell how many there are, but they are scattered about on the ground in these trees, just adjacent to this wetland. Um, there are a couple different colors. The, in the winter, they all have kind of rusty wingtips, but the males will have some more um, darker feathers, some black feathers mixed in with that rusty brown um, color where the females will have a more lighter color with their rusty brown, almost sometimes almost yellowish. Um, and the males will have a uh, yellow eyes. So let's see if we can get closer and get a better look. There they go. So how many did we get? There's four, six, nine, maybe 12 or 13. It's a mixture of males and females. So these birds will breed in wetlands in Canada and then spend their winters um, farther south not just in the southeast but a lot come to the southeast um, and they they're looking for those wetlands so a lot of their population de decline has been a result of habitat destruction getting rid of wetlands to make room for different types of development so because this is one of the most extensive wetlands we have in the area it makes sense that we have such a large population that comes here to overwinter I think what you hear is a squirrel. I don't really hear any calls from the rusty blackbirds, um, but their song is kind of like a, it sounds like a, like you're fast forwarding on a cassette tape. lucky to run into a flock of rusties just farther back but if we hadn't seen those I probably would come out here to see if there are any flying about uh, down in this brush or even across the way um, it's also a great spot to come and see if there's any geese or ducks or herons um, hanging out a lot of times there's some piebald grebes swimming around out there, but I haven't seen any recently here. We call this body of water the Crescent Slough, spelled S-L-O-U-G-H. Um, and that is because it's part of the old river channel that's been cut off from the river um, and now holds water, but also when it when the river floods, it acts as a, an area for the river to overflow into, and this will hold a bunch of water. 
storing floods and then slowly release it back into the river. Um, which makes for a really great habitat for lots of different types of birds. Alright, so we started our walk at Spanko and we walked the Swamp Rabbit Trail past Crescent, Crescent Slough and we took our new, uh, our new arch bridge um, over onto River Otter Way and we've got the West Bay Observation Deck behind me. So uh, this is another area that is um, really good for to see rusty blackbirds and if we hadn't seen them already then I would have come here to see if they were hanging out here today. Um, rusty blackbirds usually show up around middle to late October and will stay sometimes as late as April. So right now is the best time to come out and check them out. And if you're interested in trying to find them, the walk that we've just done is a great walk um, that will give you multiple chances of finding where they're hanging out that day. So thanks for joining us and hope to see you out here soon.